London Airport is the scene as Britain's most dangerous war potential, atomic energy, is harnessed in the service of mankind. The driver comes from the Atom Research Centre at Harwell, and he's trained in the handling of radioactive isotopes, valuable in the cause of medicine, but lethal unless kept safely at a distance. Carefully screened containers have been built into the wings to carry these dangerous cargoes. Nearly 200 consignments arrive from Harwell each month en route for hospitals overseas. It's a mercy export of which Britain can be proud. At Middlesex Hospital, a consignment for British patients reaches journey's end. Removed from its protective lead container, the inner file needs more careful handling than ever. Note the lead screens placed to absorb its rays while it stands on the laboratory bench. The radioactive iodine in this file is destined for detective work. It is to act as a tracer for the detection of trouble inside a patient's thyroid gland. The dose has been carefully measured and under the eye of the doctor, she's one choice to swallow it all. Within 15 minutes, the iodine will have been absorbed in her blood and have reached her glands. Soon, the detective hunt will get fully underway. The framework provides a mounting for Geiger counters, one on each side of her neck. These measure, for eyes and ears trained to understand, the total intake of radioactive substance into the gland. Each flickering light registers a count, and though they may appear haphazard, they flicker in a series, one to ten. X marks each separate spot as the detective hunt narrows down. From each X, a reading is taken by Geiger Pistol, readings which plot for the doctor an accurate picture of the gland within. To the rhythmic tick of the Geiger, science marches on.